Hey everyone, NavyDoc5184 here. Welcome to another music reaction. Today we are reacting to Postmodern Jukebox featuring Wayne Brady uh, doing a cover of Michael Jackson's Thriller. So three things I'm gonna say right off the bat that made this an absolute must reaction. A, it's Postmodern Jukebox. They've been absolutely fantastic with the covers they've done. Two, Wayne Brady. Do I need to say more? If you are a little younger and don't know who Wayne Brady is, watch old episodes of Whose Line Is It Anyway. This dude is hilarious, but on top of that, he's a fantastic singer. Three, it's Michael Jackson. I mean, come on, it's Michael Jackson. Again, does any more need to be said? So I will make a quick admission though. Seeing that it's a 1930s like jazz cover of the song, Initially, it would have made me nervous, but I actually, uh, ooh, this might have been actually a year or two ago, where I watched Angelina Jordan do like a jazz cover of Billie Jean, and she did so good with it. So it's like, at that point, it's like, you know what? If the people had been proven commodities before, I'm just gonna trust the process. I imagine this is gonna be absolutely fantastic, and I can't wait to see what Wayne brings to the table. As I said, this dude is a fantastic singer. And it's crazy. It's not anything I would have thought of, but I remember hearing him sing. I'm just like, man, this dude literally could do whatever he wants. So we're just going to go ahead and uh, get right into the reaction. I will leave a link to the original video in the description below. Let's go ahead and get started. Hey there, thanks for stopping by and I appreciate you being here. If you enjoy the content and would like to give some extra support to the channel, feel free to check the description for various ways to do so. Some which will include an affiliate link to Dubby, uh, which you use, you get a 10% off your order. And also a link to my merch store, which is constantly running promotions and deals, as well as a link to my Patreon page, which you can get exclusive perks and content. Naturally, liking the video and leaving a comment helps as well. Thanks again and enjoy the video. Just in case you need to know that the man can sing. All right. <laughs> Listen, girl, I'm not like all these other fellas. <laughs> it's close to midnight. Something evil's lurking in the dark. You see a sight that almost stops your heart You try to scream Oh, but terror takes a sound before you make it Yeah, you start to freeze As horror looks you right between your eyes You're paralyzed Why is this working? Cause this is thriller, thriller night And no one's gonna save you from the beast of Strike. You know it's thriller, thriller night You're fighting for your life inside a killer Thriller tonight Hey ladies Y'all, this is one of those songs that falls into the category of It has absolutely no business working But yet it does I can only imagine the number of songs Postmodern Jukebox has where you see the title, you see the style they do, and you just think there's absolutely no way they can make it work, but somehow they do. And I have to attribute it to the fact that they find the absolute right people. I mean, probably some of my favorite stuff I've seen them do is anything involving um, Haley Reinhardt or Morgan James. Those two have been absolutely fantastic. But I'm listening to this and I'm like, could anybody else but Wayne Brady have done this? And in all honesty, if you can think of anybody that probably would have done as well, I'd love to see it in the comments just because I'm curious. Because right now, I can't think of anybody. It's, I, I, yeah, I don't, I don't know. I don't think there's anybody else that could have made this work. Like, he, I think, is what is making this work. And that's just, again, a credit to, you know, the people behind the scenes where they're like, you know, trying to figure out who would be the right vocalist to go with the style they're going to. And 
Man, I tell you what, <laughs> if there ever was like a jack of all trades when it comes to entertainment, Wayne Brady, I feel like, falls pretty darn close to really being, you know, at the top of that list. Ooh! <laughs> okay! Oh, that's a nice touch. Throwing the tap in there. Ooh. Wonder if you'll ever see the sun. You close your eyes and hope that this is just imagination, girl. But all the while, you hear a creature creeping up behind. Oh, you're out of time. Oh, this is thriller, thriller night, and there ain't no second chance. I'm waiting for them to do the dance. I have a feeling they're gonna throw that in there. Thriller night, you're fighting for your life inside of Killer Thriller tonight. Oh, night creatures call and the dead start to dance in their masquerade. Oh, there's no escaping the jaws of the alien this time. Open oh, wide. Dude, this, this performance is just on point in all areas. Oh, there it is. <laughs> I knew they had to incorporate it somehow. You can't do anything with Thriller without having some of the dance in there. Ooh. Oh, this is Thriller. Thriller night. Oh, I can thrill you more than any ghoul would ever try. Yeah, this is Let me hold you tight and share up Thriller, Thriller, this is Thriller Oh, Thriller tonight Girl, I can't nice little you more than there. any fool would ever try This is Thriller, oh, Thriller tonight Girl, let me hold you tight inside of Thriller, Killer Thriller, Killer, Chiller I fulfill ya Girl, I'll be your thriller tonight. Oh, your thriller right. Tonight. Nice. What the hell? <laughs> 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 All right, y'all. That was Postmodern Jukebox with. Wayne Brady doing Thriller, and I am still trying to compose myself from that last bit. Woo, that was funny. But again, it, you know, maybe I should have expected something like that, but I, it was just the way he delivered, he delivered that so... I don't even know. that. Oh man, I love this dude. Wayne Brady is awesome. I love that man, but... Boy, man, that was a lot of stuff to kind of try to keep up with, you know, but, you know, like I said, I fully expected when I saw the dancers first come out, I'm like, as I said, there's no way they can do this without getting some of the Thriller dance in there. But I love the fact that they threw in other aspects of Michael Jackson's um, dance repertoire in there. You know, I mean, awesome. that was just an awesome cover overall. Again, had no business working, but it did. And, whew, man, I mean, again, can you really think of anybody other than Wayne Brady that could have made that work? I just don't see how. And the dancers were fantastic. That was really awesome. And I, <laughs> whew. You know, and it's, um, well, I'm trying to think about what I'm trying to think because I did take a quick look at the credits, you know, and I'm thinking about the dancing and I'm trying to think, was that like choreographed or was that just like freestyle? Because that really honestly just felt like they were just going like straight from, you know, digging in the well and just bringing it out. But I mean, whether it was freestyle or whether that was all choreographed, I really don't care because it was fantastic. Very well done. A great tribute to... I mean, anybody who knows music knows, I think Thriller is actually still the top record seller of all time from what I understand. And I mean, 
obviously being born in the 80s, you know, Michael Jackson was a constant in my household. And I mean, in the 80s, who, who <laughs> you'd be hard pressed to find anybody that didn't have a Michael Jackson record. So that was a beautiful, I mean, I feel like that was a beautiful tribute um, to him just all around, not even with just the song, but just a Michael Jackson tribute overall. Oh, oi. Oh boy. I think I'm finally over that little werewolf bit, but I really don't know what else I can say on that. As you can tell, that was that was a really fun song to watch and you know these people, I swear, I don't know how they do it. And it almost makes me mad because it's just like no matter how creative you may feel, you see something like this and you're just like Maybe I'm not as creative as I thought because if you would have told me to somehow try to take Thriller and put it into a 1930s jazz style, I'd be like, there's no way it could work. But I have seen two Michael Jackson covers done in a jazz style and I'm just like, you know what? <clears throat> I mean, these people are just on like higher level tier when it comes to their covers. And I'm always here for it. It's so great. So. I think I'm just going to leave it there because right now I think they just got me as a rambling mess. So I'm just going to thank you all for stopping by and watching this. Hope you all enjoyed it. Feel free to click over here to check out some of my other post-modern jukebox reactions. And I will catch you all down the road.